Hi everybody, my name is Kim and in this video we are going to be looking at the new stencil brush tool in Storyboard Pro 20. This tool can be found under the brush tool in the tools toolbar. So I have my character in my scene down here and I want to use the stencil brush tool to shade in parts of the character. So I'm going to select my stencil brush tool and go to the tool properties and go all the way down to the bottom where I can see a drop down menu which gives me the option of a repaint brush or an overlay brush mode. We're going to use the repaint brush on the first panel and the overlay brush on the second panel. So I'm going to select the repaint brush mode and I'm going to select a color and a brush that I like and I am selecting the matte layer of my character. In this case this is the layer that has the fill of my character. So I'm going to use this brush to just put some shading in on the matte layer of my character. And you will see that when you start painting, that the lines that you paint will only apply themselves to the area that has existing artwork. In other words, if I try to paint somewhere over here where there is no fill, nothing happens. So the repaint brush only applies itself to areas that have existing artwork in them. You will also notice that even though I've chosen a textured brush, there is no texture on the repaint brush itself. So I've added some areas of shading for my character and you'll see in the thumbnail of the matte layer over here, you can actually see the shading as being part of that layer. If we grab the select tool and select these pieces that we've added and pull them away from the artwork, you will see that it actually cuts away from that color. So basically, whenever you paint using the repaint brush mode, it will flatten the artwork onto the layer that you're working on. Let's go to our second panel and try out the overlay brush mode. So I'm going to grab my stencil tool again, go to my tool properties, and this time select the overlay brush mode. First, I'm going to try it out directly onto the matte layer like we did with the repaint brush tool. We have a similar effect. There are some differences. The first difference being the fact that we can actually see the texture now using the overlay brush mode. And the second difference is that if I select this object and move it away from the existing artwork, you'll see that it is treated as a separate vector on top of that artwork rather than being flattened down like the repaint brush did. But I'm actually not going to use the overlay brush this way. I want to use it on a separate layer. And this is the beauty of the overlay brush mode. I'm going to add a new layer somewhere here above the mat for the hands. So I've got a new vector layer above the mat for the hands and the character mat down here. And I'm actually going to use those two layers as a reference for my overlay brush. So I'm going to go back to my stencil brush tool and I'm going to make sure that the new layer is selected, the new empty layer. And then I'm going to hold down control and select the layers that I want to use as a reference. So in this case, the E-mat and C-mat layers, which are the fill layers for the hands and the character. What this is going to do is it's going to allow the overlay brush to only apply itself to those referenced layers. So make sure your stencil brush is selected. And you'll see again that when I paint, it is only affecting the areas of the layers that I've selected as reference. And you can now see that the areas that I've shaded are here on that separate layer, completely detached from the layers that I've used as a reference. You can select as many layers as you like as a reference, but still have a separate layer that masks itself into these selected or referenced layers. And that is the stencil brush tool in Storyboard Pro 20.